Oh, nice. We have just reached the absorption phase with all four solar charge controllers. That means the battery is full. Yes. Okay, uh, let me prepare everything. Okay, welcome back to another episode here from the Offcut Garage in sunny hot Australia. You can see I'm fully locked in here, air conditioned time. We've got like a 220 amps outside. I have actually reduced the power intake of the batteries to 100 amp when they were at around 80%. So it took a bit longer to fully charge the battery, but now we have already an absorption phase and I have started the screen recording here for all three batteries. And here we are once again having a look at all the VMSs at the same time. And this time I want to start at the bottom because this is the one where we just where we have just installed the Overkill VMS. This battery before was maintained by the Helltech VMS, but I've swapped them around. I link this video down below. And as you can see, we are still charging with 1.7 amps at the moment, and the deviation across the cells 165 millivolt. Right? That is totally crazy, right? And this was the reason to swap the BMS to see what's going on. And here having a look at the at the cells, one viewer under this other video has actually picked this up and said, did you have a look at these cell voltages across your pack in the bottom? Cell number 1 to 10 have a far higher voltage than 11 to 16. How comes? And here we can see this again. 1 to 10 has a higher voltage, almost 1.5 volts, while 11 to 16 are far under 1.4 volts. So there is something going on. And you can also see there's no balancing. Even cell number 10 is over 3.5 volts, no balancing. And you know I start balance at 3.45, but this one is not balancing. Why not? Because it's the overkill. It's a JBD BMS. Charge balance is turned off, as I always recommend, always turn off charge balance, right? I made a test and a video about this. I'll link this down below if I don't forget. And because we have turned off this function, it will not balance while we are charging. So it waits until the current goes to 0.0, .0 amps, until the overkill doesn't register any current anymore, and then it starts balancing. But I'll show you something here. In the... Um, Come on here. Oh, come on. In the, um, here, in the Victron VIM, we can see AC load, two kilowatts, DC load, two kilowatts. So two air conditions running at the moment. And the solar charger provides only energy for this load. Because they are air conditioners, they don't have a constant load. It is always going up and down a little bit. And you can see this here in the charging power going into the battery in the VIM, 500, 600 there's always something going on in and out of the batteries and usually this power is provided by the solar charge controllers but because they are not as quick to respond to the request of the inverter it takes this energy out of our good old battery right and this is why we constantly see current going in and out of the battery at this load yeah at this higher load if you have smaller load solar it may not happen it all depends how quick the solar charge controllers can respond to a load. But here we can see there's always one amp and half an amp, sometimes two amps going into the battery still absorbing and there's no balancing happening. Why is that? Well, if we can have a look, charge balance is still turned off. I'll turn this on now. That means we are balancing while charging only. So it's the total opposite now. If we have 0.0, .0 amps, it will not balance. And this is actually a bad setting. This is actually bad, it shouldn't be there. The, the balancers should, should work regardless. As soon as you hit the balance start voltage and your set deviation is met, they should start balancing, regardless if charging, discharging or standby, it doesn't matter. But now immediately you can see cell number one to 10 are getting balanced. And I hope over time this will rectify the 1 to 10 and 11 to 16 difference. But at the moment 170 millivolts still, so not much to see here. It will take a long time. And here in the middle shelf, the good old JK BMS, 16 millivolt deviation, right? 16. That is amazing. Active balancer with 2 amps, discharges the highest cell 
puts the energy in the lowest voltage cell perfectly balance your battery within half an hour doesn't matter despite the fact we are still charging this battery with 10 amps right so and usually when we hit absorption i have still a 60 to 70 millivolt deviation in this jk battery in the middle shelf and this could be because i have used the aluminium bus bars there for nine months and this was kind of a long-term test to see how they perform if they cause any issues and i'm not sure every time i fully charge this battery i can see the 60 to 70 millivolt deviation in this jk battery or bms and it has no trouble to balance it but why do i see this all the time you know has this something to do with the aluminium bus bars or maybe not i don't know so in a future video soonish we will replace the aluminium bus bars with uh, tint copper bus bars and see if it makes a difference over the next couple of months then and at the top the newly installed Heltec bms is balancing uh at the moment it's not balancing but yeah there it is balancing cell number one two ten it is balancing cell number one to ten only not not the um, 11 to 16 that is interesting because i suspect the Heltec bms has caused this issue the overkill bms is actually dealing with at the moment but i'm not sure that's why i swapped them out to see what happens and now we can see cell number 15 now is balancing as well in the uh, Heltec bms we've got 26 millivolt deviation it's charging with two amps and this one has also like the overkill 100 150 milliamp passive balancer so not as advanced as the jk bms okay i would say let's give this half an hour here until we hit uh, float voltage and then we compare the um the numbers again i'll just take note of that so 24 in the Heltec jk 32 is it going up again 34 okay 34 and 170 in the overkill okay i'll be back in half an hour okay welcome back i think it's a bit longer than half an hour ago since i left the garage here yeah somehow lunch got in the way what is going on we are still balancing here and there the load is unchanged in the system still both aircons running the pool pump is running we have not made any progress on any of the bms's in fact the jk bms has actually increased from 34 millivolt to 56 millivolt it's getting worse but this is a good example of what you can see in the jk here how the current goes positive and negative are we constantly charging discharging the battery micro cycling because of the load and we can see exactly the same here in the overkill solar half an amp in one amp in then it goes negative sometimes there you go but it never goes to zero so it would never ever balance and this is exactly what it has done before it has never balanced because what are you doing when the battery is full exactly you turn on some load right hot water system pull pump ev charging whatever air conditioner you name it you're not letting you're not letting the battery sit at 100 percent and wasting all your solar on the roof you know you turn on loads especially in an off-grid situation or if you don't get much money if you export the energy yeah and i must say unfortunately the overkill has got the worst balance function ever now it's zero there it is zero so it should stop balancing now or oh, i must have uh, so this is only for a short amount of time when it's really zero and then all balancing stops but most of the time something is going in or out so well and the Heltec has increased from 24 millivolt to 30 millivolt 28 it's always going up and down a bit it is not a static number anywhere and this is because of the inverters we are running because they are not pulling a constant current anyway i can see the battery in the bottom where the overkill solar is connected the deviation has actually increased to 190 millivolt from 170 so it got actually worse by 20 millivolt okay i had actually to extend the absorption time from one hour to three hours otherwise the solar charge controllers would have gone into float already see they are still yellow 
And I just wanted to keep them a little bit on 55.2 volts here to give the balancers more time to balance. But um, it's not really working, right? Because they are now absorbing for almost two hours all in total. So let me quickly go into the carport solar charge controller because this is our master controller for our VE smart network. Put the battery, turn on expert mode and set the absorption time back to one hour. And as soon as I hit OK here on the, on the screen, you will see they all go into float mode. Bang, there, green. And now we are lowering the voltage to 53.6 volts, which is 3.35. And balancing will stop immediately on all the BMSs because we are now under 3.4 volts. Yeah, guys, okay, so far this little update after uh, two weeks since I swapped the BMSs, I haven't fully charged the battery much in this time because of cloudy weather and I'm usually using all the energy. If the battery gets to 80%, I turn everything on I have. So usually when I occasionally fully charge my battery, I make it a bit of an event and record all the BMSs then and make a little video and talk about what I'm seeing and what the potential problems are and what I will change in the future. So it's always something special for me to fully charge my battery. And this will be even more special in the future when we add more battery capacity because eventually we will combine the battery 2.0 and the battery 3.0 with the Mason system into one larger system and also uh, do something with the inverters because we may get a bit closer to connect something large to the garage. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here. Thanks for your donations to buy me beer and keeping me cool here in this heat. It is much appreciated. And until the next video, guys, when we, when we do something different. Ah, yeah, 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 right. Until the next video, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I, I'm not running out of ideas what to do here.